Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Modern Misconceptions, where today we'll be talking about how glass isn't a solid, right? Because, you know, it's a liquid, right? Right? Actually, these are both wrong. Glass is neither a liquid nor a solid. But in today's world, this is a popular myth that it is a liquid because of all the old buildings that we have that have glass that looks like it has melted down, or that it seems that the base of the glass is thicker. Well, in many cases, the bottom of the glass is thicker, but not because it is a liquid, but because the glass makers of that time produced glass very poorly and just usually put the thicker side that they made of the pane at the bottom. So what exactly is glass, then? Well, like I said earlier, it's not a liquid and it's not exactly a solid either. In fact, it's what we call an amorphous solid. Well, what is an amorphous solid, you might ask now? Well, an amorphous solid is a solid lacking long-range order, like that of a crystal. This means that the atoms aren't organized, they're just spread out really kind of randomly. This can allow for something called glass transition, which is where an amorphous solid can go from a brittle substance like glass to a rubbery viscous substance with a rise in temperature. This can be seen with molten glass, which is a very sticky and viscous substance. Glass isn't alone, however. There are many amorphous solids, like some polymers and even cotton candy. So in in conclusion, glass isn't a liquid, but it's more like an unorganized solid that is hard to make, which can sometimes make it look like it can flow over long periods of time. I hope you enjoyed this week's video and be on the lookout for next week's. I'm also sorry that I haven't uh, uploaded in probably about a month. Uh, I've been going places every weekend essentially and I have finals coming up, so I have to study for those, but um, also make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you're never late for a new video.